Peter Stushko, disaster, disaster, shame, embarrassment, humiliation. No? <laughs> Uh, is this going to take long? No, it's not going to take long. I, you know, I realized uh, bright and early in the in the show's progress that there was never going to be a show where I ever played anything right. So, I, you know, I took it with a grain of salt. But the thing that that goes, if there were moments of of sheer panic. Um, I think the first time it happened, because you did this to me at least a half a dozen times. Oh, no. <laughs> the first time it happens, I remember it was it was in the when we were back at the back with the old public radio building, Park Square, right. mm -hmm. Park Square. Um, up there in the third floor with the bleacher <laughs> seats, and um, I was in the midst of singing a song, and you came up behind me and you put a sheet of lyrics in front of me and whispered in my ear while I'm singing, this is a commercial we're gonna do right after you're done singing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It would be one thing if it was just a commercial, but then he says, and this is the jingle I want you to sing. <laughs> so, while I'm trying to finish this song, I'm, there's some part of my brain that's trying to separate. It's what called I'm, multitasking. What I'm doing live, looking at the lyrics of the jingle and trying to come up with another melody that I'm going to automatically go into after I'm done singing. You're a better man for it, Gunga Din. I, I am. Well, 